check and make sure I don't have any boogers in my nose. We're all good, we're all good here. No boogies. I've been kind of sick the past couple of weeks, so just checking for the boogers. Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Winnie. We are all about good vibes on this channel, so if you're interested in that, good vibes, subscribe, okay? Because we have a good time. Today, I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I've been obsessed with watching these on YouTube over the past couple of weeks. And now I'm like, I wanna film one for you guys so that when you guys get ready or you guys are doing something, you guys can just hear me talk. <laughs> as appeasing as that sounds. I just wanted to do one and I wanted to like have fun today, you know, just have a good time. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. That is the first thing I do when I do my makeup routine. I like to get my eyebrows out of the way because they take forever to do. Done with my eyebrows, now I'm going to prime my eyes with the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I am in the shade Chestnut. I'm gonna plop this right on my eyelid. I'm gonna be a little bit more generous because we want that eyeshadow to come out popping. It normally, for the most part, does not matter what kind of base you use as long as you use a base. So I'm just taking a damp beauty blender and I'm going to blend it in. And then now I'm just going to set with a powder. You can set with any powder that you want. Today I was thinking about a really fun, cute look. Like, let's just have fun. Let's do some experimenting. I haven't experimented and played with makeup in a hot, darn, diggity second. And I think it'd be fun to do like a cotton candy look. Like cotton candy vibe. What do you think? I'm going to dig into my James Charles palette with Morphe because I feel like it has the colors that I need and what I'm really going for for this cotton candy makeup look. Um, would it be cotton candy? It's more of like a like pink purple type of vibe, but like purple bluish. I don't know if that makes any sense, but hey, we're gonna have fun with it and we're gonna see what we can do and whatever happens, happens. That's just the mindset I'm trying to have right now. I wish I could tell myself that about life, like whatever happens, happens, but I overthink about everything, so that's probably not gonna be a thing. So I'm gonna dig into this color right here. It is the bright pink color in the palette and we're gonna keep on building that up until we are content. It's popping, it's bright. If I'm being completely honest, I don't think I got the James Charles casting call, um, you know, audition because when you apply, they literally tell you that you may hear something back or you're probably most likely gonna hear something back by December 11th, and I think today is the 11th, actually. So today's the 11th, and I haven't heard anything back, so I'm thinking that the people that did get it are currently probably super fucking excited right now and have heard back from James Charles, so I really don't think I got it, which it's okay, like, it's not a big deal. <laughs> But I'm gonna take this blue shade and pop that all over my eyelid and see what happens. If it looks ugly, we'll just try to make it work, I guess. We have our eyeshadow done. Now I'm going to add some lashes. But before we add lashes, we have to make sure that everything blends in and is looking cohesive. So I'm gonna go in with the MAC False Lashes. I love this mascara. But I feel like every time I use this mascara, eyelashes fall in my eye. I don't know what it is, it's just this mascara. So, might be a problem, but it really extends the lash. So I'm just gonna add one coat of this. I don't think I'm gonna do any eyeliner for this look. I feel like this look speaks for itself and it doesn't need anything else to it, but lashes. So I'm gonna go in with the Kiss Lashes. These are in the Style 11. I love these lashes. They're my favorite lashes. That's all I can say about them. They're my babies. So I use them all the time. All right, we're finished with the eye look. This is what it looks like. I really like how the color turned out and I love the pigmentation. Keep building and building, baby, and it will get there, I promise. So, it's time to move on to the face. I'm gonna prime my face with the Skin Perfect Primer by Dermalogica. I'm just gonna apply it specifically to my T-zone area.
Oh my god, I have to tell you guys what happened to me a couple of days ago. So get ready for this little story time. It's kind of embarrassing and I don't know if I should be sharing it with you guys, but you guys are with my family, so try not to judge me and try not to make fun of me. The other day, I think it was last weekend, I wanted to go hang out with my friend. So me and my friend had planned to go to this place um, in Atlanta that sold really bomb Philly cheesesteaks and we planned this for a hot minute. So I was gonna meet her downtown and we were gonna eat at this cheesesteak place. Well, just about to walk out the door and I was like, God, I have to go to the bathroom. But I'm gonna ignore the urge. I'm sure I can hold it for like 30 minutes because that's how far Atlanta is from where I live. And I was like, I'm sure I can hold it and there'll be a bathroom when I get to the restaurant. Well, I leave my house and I'm like, it's okay. You know, like I'll be fine. I can hold it. No big deal. No biggie. No biggie at all. And I get to Atlanta. Now, I am not the best driver in Atlanta. Like, I feel like it's a totally different ball game, like driving in Atlanta. You have to know how to parallel park. Everyone's a little bit more aggressive. So when I got there, I was kind of panicking a little bit because I was like, oh crap, where do I park? And why the hell is it so busy down here? Why is everybody, their mom, the daddy, and the sister out on the street right now? Could not find a parking spot. So I called my friend and I'm like, girl, I need to find a parking spot. ASAP like I have to go to the bathroom so bad. I'm about to piss my pants She's like you have to just keep circling around keep circling circling around until you find a parking spot I'm Like yeah, I know but like there's no other place to park because one like I'm really not that good at parallel parking And like I'm hell is not gonna parallel park in Atlanta when Everybody's on the street watching you and you really don't know how to parallel park like I was like I'm, I, I don't know about that That's kind of that's kind of iffy still circling around and I'm panicking at this point because my bladder my had one child bladder is Exploding and I'm sitting there trying to figure out trying to find a parking spot and I literally can't find one So I decide to make like a random turn instead of just like circling around I decide to make a random ass turn and this random ass turn literally ruined my entire existence. Shouldn't have turned down this road because little did I know that down that road was the stadium for a football game that was going on. Once I turned down that street, guys, when I tell you the amount of cars and traffic that was on that street, it was just packed. There was hella people in their cars. There was hella people on the street. There were kids, there were children. Um, there were whole ass families. And I was like, oh my God. Uh, which like there being people was not the problem. That was not my problem. The problem was there was hella traffic because of this game that was going on. And your girl had to pee, okay? Traffic not moving at all. When I tell you guys, we sat in the same spot for 10 minutes. The entire time I'm sitting up, like this close to my steering wheel, trying to concentrate on holding my ear in. I'm literally like, oh my God, doing this in the car. Mind you, my windows are not tinted. So everybody, thousands of people that are walking through the crosswalk, the people that are right next to my car can see me like, oh my God, huh, I'm gonna pee my pants. Like, so at that point, at that point I was desperate. There was a McDonald's cup that I left in my car from the day before and it's a small McDonald's cup. You know what, it's getting to that point because at this point, like I'm about to die, my bladder is about to blow up. So I might have to pee in this cup right now. The only problem with peeing in the cup is it's just morally degrading and second, there were so many people walking back and forth from this crosswalk. There was police officers down the street that were directing traffic. There were little children staring at me. I would look to the right and there was like a little boy on the crosswalk just looking at me like this. And I was like, oh my God, how am I going to pee in this cup when everybody and their mama and their daddy is watching me. How was I gonna do that? I was still holding my pee. Like I literally was like, how am I doing this right now? At that point, I was sweating. I was like, I'm literally going to piss my pants. Like I'm going to piss my pants and I, I'm gonna have to be okay with it because there's nothing I can do. I held my pee for a literal, for a literal 30 minutes after that. I sat in traffic for a good 30 minutes after. 
And my friend called me and she's like, where are you? Because remember, I was supposed to be going to meet with a friend. I had just made a turn down the wrong street. She was like, where are you? What are you doing? Like, I've ordered the food. Like, what are you? And I'm like, girl, I turned down the wrong street. I still haven't went to the bathroom yet. She's like, find a gas station. There's probably a gas station right around the corner. And I'm like, bitch, like I GPS a gas station. And each gas station says at least 15, 20 minutes away because of all the traffic. She's like, okay, how about this? How about this? How about I get the food and then you meet me at my house which is like 30 minutes away like, okay you know what yeah let's get this let's get that done because I'm just so over like having to go pee and this traffic was aggravating I was like yeah I'll just meet you at your house that's fine bring the food we can eat there and then I can go to the bathroom well your girl didn't get out of that traffic for a good another 15 minutes I was in that traffic for 45 minutes and when I finally got out like my bladder was literally like okay bitch you have pushed us to all kingdom come but you cannot make it 30 minutes away from Atlanta don't even try it bitch well what did your bitch do what did Winnie do tried to make it, tried to make it 30 minutes away when my bladder was like, uh-uh, 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 uh So I call my friend again and I'm panicking and she's, at this point she's like, bitch, you're stupid, like pull over and go to a gas station. Well, guys, I'm in Atlanta and you know, sometimes the men in Atlanta are a little bit more aggressive. Sometimes there's a lot more homeless people. I was coming up on a little like gathering of like restaurants and gas stations. You know how that's like in every town. Also, I need to mention that I was wearing a skirt. I was wearing a skirt, I was really dressed up, I looked really cute, and I have a fear of going into gas stations because men sometimes holla at you and they just talk to you and they try to talk to you and then when you deny them and you're like, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm married, they literally get mad at you. Pulling up to this gas station, I was just about to get out the car, I was literally about to just like go run in. I saw this scary ass guy just staring at me, super, fucking hard and I was like bro like please stop looking at me in his car like you could tell he was ready to go like he was ready to pull off but he didn't pull off like he just sat there he sat there and he was stared at me and I'm like with my non-tinted windows like bro he is just looking at me in the moment he I get out of this car and he realizes I'm wearing a skirt oh he gonna die he gonna die gonna see my booty and be like okay let me get out this car and try to confront her when I already I already had to go pee so what did Winnie do what do you guys think Winnie did scary ass Winifred decided that you know what I could hold it a little bit longer I couldn't though I couldn't hold it but subconsciously in my head I wasn't trying to get hollered at and this man was creeping me out so I literally held it again I was like, okay I'll wait for the next like little area the next little gas station and I will go there my bladder was like bitch we're not holding it anymore. I literally swinged into like this uh, parking lot. It had like a dog store and a bank next to it. I literally was like breaking. Like it was about to come out. Like my nerves were so like from my bladder and from my like half of my torso down were like glitching. Like I was like, Ugh, like trying to park before I peed my pants. It was just so bad. It was so bad. Luckily no one was at the in the parking lot at the moment. So I just grabbed that little cup and I put it underneath me and I lifted it up and I just let it go. Like honestly, I, I had no choice. It was going to happen anyway. I literally had no choice. So it came out and guys, it the cup kind of helped, but it, it got, it, it, I peed on myself. I, while I was in the middle of that action, okay, like having my dignity stripped away from me, this guy pulls up to the bank and I'm like, <sighs> I like while I have a cup in my hand he could see what the like, he could see something was going on I could tell he was like okay bitch like hey uh if that's what you want to do it was just so embarrassing guys I literally called my friend and she's like did you get to the bathroom and I was like so now I'm going to contour I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour cream kit and I'm just going to contour around my face and around my jawline to look a little bit more put together you know what I'm saying I like to set my entire face with my Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. I love this stuff. I feel like it still allows for my skin to breathe with it being matte, which is rare when it comes to a matte powder. My skin needs that because it's super oily. So I just take this big fluffy brush and put it all around my face. Also, when I tell you this stuff really blurs your skin, like it really blurs all your imperfections and I love that. 
Next, I like to go in with blush. So I put it like right here. I'm just gonna. I'm going to be using the Laura Geller and OG Gilded Honey. It looks so good with my skin color and I can never go wrong with this highlight, so. Okay guys, so I finished the under eye. Now I'm going to finish up the look with my lips. So for my lips, I'm taking my MAC Chestnut Lip Pencil. I use this lip pencil in, with every color because it works so well. And I'm just going to line my lips. And then to make a color that I really like, I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Kit. I go in with this shade right here. I go in with, I think, number four. It creates the perfect nude shade for my skin tone. I really hope you guys like how this look turned out. I really like it. This was fun to just sit and play with makeup. My first love. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. If you made it to the end of this, get ready with me. Comment a butterfly emoji. Don't forget to subscribe. Check up on my other Vlogmas videos and I will see you in the next one, baby. <laughs> and don't be coming for me about the ping in the car thing, okay? Because that wasn't my most prideful moment. Okay. TTYL, talk to you later. Okay. All right. Bye. <laughs>